Here we have 83 plus 41. And to answer this, we need to know how to count on in tens crossing 100. So if we're adding 41, we need to add four tens and one unit. So counting on one ten takes us to 93. Another ten takes us to 103. Then we get to 113. And our fourth ten takes us to 123. So we've added four tens. Now we just need to add one unit. So counting on one from 123, we get to 124, and that's our answer. Now to make sure we're clear about what we're doing here, let's do 83 plus 41 again, but this time with blocks, so we can show how adding four tens and one unit changes the number. So we start with 83, and we have eight tens and three units. If we add 10, now we have nine tens and three units, so we're on 93. If we add another 10, now we have 10 tens. And we know that 10 tens is the same as 100, so we can push our tens together to form a hundred square. This is called exchanging or regrouping. So we've exchanged or regrouped 10 tens for 100. So now we have 103. If we add another 10, we're now on 113 because we have 100, 110 and three units. And now when we add our fourth 10, we have 123. So now we've added four tens. We've added 10 four times. So we just need to add one unit, and that takes us to 124. So that's our answer. Now we have 98 add 24. Pause the video and see if you can count on two tens and four units from 98. So adding 10 takes us to 108. Another 10 takes us to 118. So we've added two tens. Now we just need to add our four units. So let's count on 4 from 118. 119, 120, 121, 122. So we've added 4 units and our answer is 122. Again, let's do the same question, but this time with blocks, so we're clear about what we're doing. We have 98, so 9 tens and 8 units. Now if we add 10, we have 10 tens, and 10 tens is the same as 100. So if we push our tens together, we now have 100, 0 tens, and 8 units, so 108. Now if we add another 10, we have 118. So we've added two tens. So you might think, how can we have added two tens if we now have only one 10? Well remember, one of our tens was used to make our 100 square, so we've added 20 to 98 to make 118. Now we need to add four units. One more unit gives us 119. Another unit means we now have 10 units. So let's push our units together to make a 10. 
And now we have 100 and two tens, so we have 120. One more unit gives us 121, and one more gives us 122. So we've added four units to give us our answer of 122. Now pause the video and see if you can work out 88 plus 32. Adding 10 gives us 98. Another 10 gives us 108. And a third 10 gives us 118. So we've added our three tens. Now let's add our two units by counting on two from 118. 119, 120. So we've added two units to give us our answer, 120. Again, let's show 88 plus 32 using blocks. So we start with eight tens and eight units. We start on 88. If we add 10, we now have nine tens and eight units, so we have 98. If we add another 10, we now have 10 tens. And what are we going to do with our 10 tens? We can push them together to make a 100 square. So now we have 108. And adding our third 10 gives us 118. 100, 110, 8 units. So now we've added our three tens, we just need to add our two units. One more gives us 119, and another one means we now have 10 units, so we can push them together to make another 10, and that gives us 120. So 88 plus 32 is 120.